total batshit fucking crazy, right? She is out of her fucking mind. We'll just open up another one right there. All right, come back. Let's see what the batshit fuck got to say right now. Heath Ledger can't make this shit up. Um, but something has been bothering me lately, too. It's just memories of Heath Ledger. Um, uh, he died really tragically, and um, I was there at his apartment with him and Donald when he died. Um, we were hanging out in his New York City apartment, and, like, he was doing some, um, dance moves, some break dance moves where he's, like, spinning on his head on the hardwood floor. Like, when you enter his apartment, there's, like, kind of a, an area, like, right in the front entryway, and when you look straight forward, there's, like, a wall of, um, like, windows facing the street. And looking down, and he has a, he had like a um, a balcony where we would go out there and smoke cigarettes. And um, I really wanted to go out of the building onto the street to walk around with him. And <laughs> but he told it, me that he, he, we did, he didn't he did he said that we couldn't go out. We would go out there and smoke cigarettes. And um, I really wanted to go out of the building onto the street to walk around with him and <laughs> but he told it me that he, he, we did he didn't he did he said that we couldn't go out on and donald she says and donald street together and walk around we had to stay in his apartment but we could hang out on the balcony and um but when he broke his neck doing that break dancing um move like, we, I didn't know what to do, um, but we eventually called, you know, 911 the police, and then the Illuminati cops showed up, and, um, <laughs> they didn't have, I guess, like, a clone body or anything. They weren't gonna, like, help him out and give him a clone body to transfer his consciousness into, and he didn't want to end up being, like, a quadriplegic, like, he was just laying on his back, not moving, and, um. So he chose for the cops to um, basically shoot him in the head. Man, come on. Couldn't have been like this. No, no. <laughs> no. Damn you! Damn you! Must be taking action. Rather than live as a um, as someone with a spinal cord injury, <laughs> and that memory is just really haunting me. Yeah. <laughs> because. He was a, he was a good person, and I loved him dearly. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time with that. <laughs> the Illuminati's been responsible for a lot of deaths, but they've also, you know, they could have, they could have helped him out. They could have saved him. They could have given him a new body, since that was just an accident. But he, yeah, he chose to die instead of, um, like, live on without, have, like, being able to use any of his body, so. Yeah, I miss Heath Ledger a lot. A lot of people do. Just something that I've been I've been dealing with is just uh, certain people who aren't alive anymore. Like I miss Paul Walker too. I don't know, 
I hope I get to meet Heath again someday. <sighs> oh, you will. But yeah, I know that he, he's missed by a lot of people, and um, this is something that's been really bothering me because um, I loved him dearly as a friend and a lover. Like, um, and a lover. At cloning, um, it's pretty normal for people to have their relationship out in the in, in the in the world above, and then you have your like cloning center relationships. In, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Another thing, too, right now, I'm trying to, um, like, go through all my stuff because I don't want to move everything again. It's it's just a lot of work, so I'm just trying to, like, weed out stuff and donate things and, um, like, sell the things that I can, like, make a little bit of money off of, like, my, my table and, um, make, just a couple end tables and things like that. Give me a laugh, laugh, laugh. But, um, Come on, laugh. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my stuff stuff at this point so that when I move, uh, I'm not going to have to, like, be shuffling around a whole bunch of stuff again. Like, I would, I would, it would be really great if I could get down to just, um, like, a suitcase <laughs> or, or a pair of... <laughs> this sounds to the suitcase. <laughs> uh, you dirty bitch. Katie burning in hell. Katie's burning in hell. So we don't ever have to see her again Because you know She's with her brother Satan Cause she's a rat bitch burning in hell She's burning in hell Rat, rat, rat bitch She's burning in hell Rat, rat, rat bitch And you know that she loves to suck the brick She's a dirty rat bitch whore. Oh, Katie, nasty rat bitch. Here's your sister fucking wretched. Oh, Collie, you. Here we go. Look at this. Do you want to break up the beautiful number one hit, but. Right? <clears throat> this is my testimony, and everything that I'm telling you is true. I stand by my word 100%. As a survivor, and now a whistleblower, I encourage all survivors to speak out against this horrendous cult called Freemasonry. On August 9th, 2018, I saw the regalia of my per perpetrators in pictures. God, I didn't even click on it to play the whole goddamn thing. I Dirty little pig monster. Pig monster. You're both gonna burn in the fires of hell. 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 Boop, 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 doo. <laughs> Another one that she slipped off the cracker. I can fool millions of people and make so many shackles. I love the shackles. I'm burning in hell. Burn, burning in hell. Burn, burning in hell. Burn, burning in hell. Oh, that's it right there. Yeah, it's all bullshit. Isn't it? Candles in my glasses. Like, go full Gandhi style. and um, Go full yeah, Gandhi. But I, I really hate um, moving a bunch of stuff out of here. Don't it's, go it's, full Gandhi. I'm going to go Gandhi style. <laughs> oh fucking wow <laughs> Jesus she's fucking gone and back into some other place it's just gonna be a nightmare so I'm working on that anything I else? appreciate everyone who continues to um, you know give me voluntary donations to my um, GoFundMe. I'll put the link in the description. Um, right here? Again? I did apply to GoFundMe and they did reply to me. However, it's 
people are going to be trolling me and people are going to be messing with me there. So I, it, it's not going to be a good job for me and it's not going to be doing any favors for GoFundMe to hire me um, when I get targeted so much. Um, so what I really need to do is just um, figure out some other means of like working from home. Um, I'm starting to like try to sew stuff again, like corsets and stuff. Um, I'll make a video about stuff I've made. If, if you if you want to support me in that way, if you want to buy something that I've made by hand, that's cool. Um, if you want to just you know support me by voluntary donations, then God bless you, that is amazing, and we need more kind people like that in the world. Um, if you just watch my videos and you just wish me well, that's all I can really ask for, and I appreciate that as well. Um, people keeping me in their prayers, like, I, I really need that too. Because it's, it's really not easy. And I wish there were anyone except me. <laughs> it really fucking sucks to be me. It really does. Yeah. So. I'm not, I'm not having an easy time right now. I tried to go for a walk earlier today, but I just ended up breaking down and crying. <laughs> Sucks. Alright, that's it for now. I'm gonna try to pull myself together and then film video later. Yeah, alright. Uh, every video is like a confirmed story of a whack job. Man, I can't believe they don't make a fucking movie about this bitch. That's what you must be hoping for, huh? Total whack job. Bat shit. My name is Bat shit Tally Knowles. Fucking Christ. <laughs>